Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to To the Moon with a Rocket Plane Part 3. Alright, so we already know that the Hercules is not working for us, so we're going to try to rebuild a completely new craft. So there she is, the Hercules. Great for a um, 36 ton to orbit, but after that... Uh, not so much so going to other planets, but if we build something that is maybe smaller, more efficient, with only one engine, th that's the challenge now. The challenge is to build something well, with only one engine, okay? Not five rapiers plus a nuclear engine combo, which is obvious, obviously way more efficient, but the challenge is just one engine and it has to take off and land like a plane. So we need to downsize. I'm gonna go for Daedalus class. Okay, so here's the Daedalus class. <laughs> it's real small compared to the huge Hercules, um, but it only runs off of one engine and it can carry a five ton payload, which is not bad. It might be able to carry some mining stuff or maybe something very similar to it, perhaps? Hmm. Now someone kept on saying use the Rhino engine, but I'm looking at the stats here. 2000, so it's got more kick in vacuum, less kick uh, in atmosphere. Well, this one has more kick in atmosphere, but less kick in vacuum. ISP, see where we are. Okay, 290 in atmosphere, 305 in vacuum, where this one only has 205 in atmosphere and 340 in vacuum. Okay, so this one is definitely like a, a good first stage rocket. The, I can't even pronounce that. Mastodon, Mastodon, Mastodon? Okay, Mastodon, dinosaur name, I think. Anyway, okay, so the rhinos, the, the rhino is looking like it's a good in space holy crap nine tons five tons nine tons okay this is how we're going to figure out if this is good for our spacecraft or not this is already running on a mastodon we have a delta v of 3264 twr of 1.9 let's take this off and throw on a rhino and if the numbers are worse then you got your answer it's a big son of a bit isn't it wait a minute what was the other one really no kidding wow so more delta v compared to the other one and twr is out the ass really okay hold on let's uh let's not quite stop here yet I just out of curiosity oh well, twr is completely gone but the <laughs> delta v is crap okay hold on Hold on, hold on. Just, oh, well, we don't even have to save it like this. Let's just go over, don't save. Back to the Hercules, load. Okay, see the Hercules, hmm, the mammoth has a whopping 3,700 uh, thrust, which only gives it a 1.2 delta, v, um, 1.2 TWR or thrust to weight ratio. So, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of power, but let's see what happens. I'm gonna swap that power out with a Rhino. Hold on, that's, that's a, all right, all right, get the numbers again. What was the numbers? Okay, so 4,470 Delta V with a TWR of 1.28. Let's switch it out for a Rhino. I mean, it looks prettier. The Rhino definitely looks prettier. Holy shit, Delta V of 5,000? But the TWR is absolute crap. Well, that's to be expected. You know, the Delta V is great, but the TWR, this thing wouldn't even get off the freaking ground. Okay, let's let's do a test. Let's do the Hercules uh, A. Slow to take off. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Hey, let's easy with that gimbal, huh? Yep, uh, come on. Uh. Oh shit. There goes the wing. Brace for impact. <laughs> Woof! Oh. Oh, the carnage. It was extremely heavy and not a whole lot of control. I mean, I don't want to do this, but I feel as though I don't have a choice. Kinda sucks. It looks horrible, but let's do this. What is with you and your absolute desire to turn left? Come on. Oh, something exploded. I don't know what it was, but let's get some lift. Lift! Lift! Left! Ah! Hmm. What are you doing? I just decided to hop out of the water. <laughs> it's cold. Hmm. I don't know. This doesn't look good. This don't look good at all. Hmm. At this point, I'm just kind of throwing ideas out there. Getting awfully close to that damn thing. Oh, raise up, raise up, raise up, raise up. Woo. Come on. Come on. We're slowing down. That's not good. Okay, we're speeding up now, but our angle of attack is horrible. We're losing a lot of fuel. We're losing a lot of fuel. 
Look at that. We're just burning fuel. We're not even getting anywhere. I've been playing KSP for eight years. I know this is bad. <laughs> I know this is bad. This is a giant red flag. It looks pretty though. I will say this. It looks very pretty. The big giant rocket back there and that's all you need and that would be no that would be really nice if it had the same kind of power as the mammoth. But we are like slugging right now. I mean I mean I have curiosity. Let's go back and just try a real low flight plan that gets us up to speed and then nose up hard. Because this is not an air breathing engine. Once the fuel's gone, the fuel's freaking gone. It does not sip on gas. No gas sippiness. So getting into orbit, not so much. Uh, I tried to go for the most level flight plan that I could get without falling back to the curb end surface. If I had pointed the nose up at any more of an angle, then I would have started to slow down and we would have gotten nowhere. Um, great engine, love it, but it's just not powerful enough for a single engine takeoff into orbit. Yeah, now I can do something. I can try strip it down. Let's let's try stripping it down and getting that TWR up just a little bit. Uh oh. <sighs> Ass heavy. All right, well, it definitely can make orbit. I know that much, but we're not going to have enough Delta V to get anywhere in the solar system. Uh, a good little SSTO to maybe get some cargo stuff up there, but I'm not seeing this engine doing much in the way of a single engine being able to use it to go anywhere. Uh, woof. I mean, it's a cute little ship, don't get me wrong. It's got potential. It's just... Um, not for interplanetary. Well, because I'm short on time here, I'm just gonna narrate real quick what's going on. I tested and tested and tested and tested and tested many different concepts and designs using the Rhino engine. It was not working. So I went back to the Mammoth. And after a few iterations and designs, uh, believe it or not, I hit on something that might have the potential that we need to actually land on Minmus. It was about 1400 Delta V left over, which is almost enough to circular, circular, blah, 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 circularize an orbit around Minmus and then finally land on it so we can refuel and visit the entire solar system. So when I discovered this, I was uh, a little shocked. I'm not gonna lie, a little shocked. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. I mean, it looks goofy as hell, but did this just do it? Did we just, did, look at that. Look at the Delta V. Holy crap. That's like 300 meters per second more than what we had last time. I think we can make it to Minmus and land. Oh ho ho, okay, we're gonna definitely have to fix the look of this thing. Because it's it's kind of it's kind of dumb. I'm just I'm just putting it out there. It's a little dumb looking, but look at the delta v. That's way more than what we had in any other design. Okay, okay. I mean, okay, okay. All right. Well, um, unfortunately, I am out of time, so we're gonna have to finish this up in the next video but it's looking good now it's looking real good we've we've made some serious progress <laughs> there's gonna have to be a part four but you know that's what happens when you have a full-time job you can only do so much 
in so much time. But everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Love you all. And uh, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Share, like, and subscribe. Like and subscribe and share. La 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 la. <laughs>